Hi there, welcome to my channel, Moving to Fort Myers. I am Jessica Gatewood, and today we are exploring the River District. First, I'll start with a little overview of the River District and kind of how we were established and go from there. So Fort Myers was founded in the 1800s. It was originally a military fort, and that's where it got its name. It was named after the Colonel Abraham Myers, so that's where you are get Fort Myers from. From there, it became a cattle town. Farmers would bring their cattle down through Punta Rasa, which is near Sanibel, and ship the cattle down to Cuba. In the late 1800s, 1885, Thomas Edison came down here to visit and ended up buying his property here. He started with 13 acres. It's now at 20 acres of historical buildings. Thomas Edison and Henry Ford both had properties here. Henry Ford and his family came in 1914 after visiting the Edison family and decided they too wanted to have their winter home here. So they purchased their home in 1914 right next to the, the Edison estate. The Edison and Ford winter estates are a historic landmark here and they are open for tours all year long. Uh, they decorate them for Christmas season and do holiday lights tours. Fun fact is that Almost all of the furniture in the Edison main house and the guest house are original to Thomas Edison and his family. It's pretty cool. You can still see some of his tools from when he was inventing the light bulb and, you know, his desk. And it's it's a pretty cool little destination here. The River District is also home to many art galleries and shops. One of the most beautiful and historical buildings once was the Federal Courthouse. It is now the Sydney and Byrne Davis Art Center, and they do art galleries as well as you can host events there. One of my favorite events that's there every year and I've gone to since my niece was about four. So that's 15 years we've been going down to the Santa's Block Party, which is hosted by the Goodwill Association. And they do a breakfast with Santa and they do crafts and, you know. Cookie decorating, it's just so much fun for, for everyone and one of my favorite events every year. Sticking with that kind of art and craft vibe, I'll mention the Art Walk, which is every month on the first Friday of the month, the River District hosts Art Walk, which has local vendors and artists displaying their stuff throughout downtown Fort Myers. They shut down the streets and it's a walking festival and, you know, most of the restaurants will have specials and it's fun for for the whole family there's also music walk which is the third friday of every month and same concept except it's musicians and they will be strewn throughout the city on the sidewalks on the steps of some of the historical buildings and just playing their awesome music for everyone and again the restaurants will have specials and the streets are shut down and it's a good time that a lot of us locals and tourists really enjoy. Throughout the River District, there are historical buildings that are now used for apartments. So you have the Dean Street apartments, which are just right downtown and little studios or sometimes there, there's a few one bedroom ones. And those are rentals. There's also a new complex, the West End at City Walk, which is a little bit on the outskirts of the River District. But those are also leased, and those are more of a condo style, like one to two bedroom homes. Still very walkable to downtown and everything that goes on. There are also high-rise communities, High Point Place, which is right off First Street. There is St. Tropez, which is also off First Street, but that's a little more east. There's a new development called Prima Luce. It's under construction right now, and those are, will also be sales. And that's right on the river next to the Edison Bridge. Also in the vicinity of the Edison Bridge, which is the more easterly bridge in downtown Fort Myers, the River District, there are single family homes. Now, these are historic homes, so you have to be mindful of what it means to be and own a historic home. You, you have very strict guidelines on what you can and cannot do to these homes. And they're true Florida cracker style homes. They're beautiful and Again, those are kind of on the outskirts of the River District, but still pretty walkable. Um, there's also a trolley that is a free trolley, and it goes throughout the downtown area and even goes over into North Fort Myers to pick you up and bring you back downtown if you wanted. If you see it, you wave, and it stops and picks you up and takes you where you want to go. 
And that's throughout the downtown area. And like I said, again, there's a few stops on the north side of the river if you wanted to grab it over there and, and come come downtown for dinner or something like that. As our city continues to grow, we're seeing more and more restaurants coming to the area. Some of my favorites in downtown are the Veranda, which is a, is a landmark restaurant. Honestly, the food is to die for. That is a more upscale uh, restaurant. And you have options like Ford's Garage, which is like a burgers and craft beer type vibe. And then there is Capone's, which is coal-fired pizza, delicious. There's also the rooftop bar at the new, new-ish Luminary Hotel. That's an awesome spot to grab a, a cocktail after work or to, to have a little date night. The views in the sunset are spectacular from up there. Something to be mindful of if you're thinking that the River District, downtown Fort Myers, is an area where you could see yourself living is parking. They did just recently take away the free street parking, which is kind of a touchy subject. But there are multiple parking garages that do monthly options. And if you're working downtown, most of your employers will have lots that are specific to you. Not so much for the the hospitality industry, but for the more uh, professional industry, those employers tend to have their own parking lots. But otherwise, like I said, you can go to the parking garages. They have monthly options and they're pretty affordable. You won't find yourself having to walk 10 or 20 blocks to work from a parking garage or to home from a parking garage. I think the only other drawback for me living in the River District would be uh, green space for pets. If you are a dog lover, you will find it tricky to find some green spaces. They are sporadic throughout the district. So if you're looking for that walking lifestyle, the biking lifestyle, then the River District is definitely a space that you should look into. Even if you don't want to be on the go, go, go all the time, some of the high rises are just right on the edge of the, the River District. And so you still have that walkability, but you're not in the major hustle and bustle of the city all the time. So definitely explore those options if you think that this might be the lifestyle you're looking for. I also have another video showcasing the differences between North Fort Myers, which is just on the north side of the river, and downtown Fort Myers in the river district. So if you need some more information or you wanted to kind of compare and contrast different types of neighborhoods, definitely check that video out. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.